Okay, how do you support learning? Well, uh, there are a few things that have changed. Uh, the first thing is we need to know a lot more about learning. And uh, neuroscience and the learning sciences are helping us enormously in understanding the nature of learning and the learning process. So just to give a couple of examples, we know that in fact the young person, the learner, needs to be absolutely the object of our work. So that focus on the learner, uh, the entry point of the learner, their prior knowledge, knowing that in fact it's going to be a question of their motivations and their emotions that are going to be triggers to successful learning, knowing that learning is in obviously an activity that requires interaction. It's hugely social and therefore we need to think about that in terms of what we arrange for the learning environment, understanding that in fact the assessment of young people in terms of the progress that they're making, but we're talking about progress on a learning continuum within a particular area of activity and to be able to identify exactly where that young person is growing and developing, how I can assess that, how I can intervene in order to support their work further. So it strikes me that when we're talking now about learning, we know a lot more through the learning sciences in particular, and we'll know a lot more in 20, 50, 100 years. So that, that's a very important part. Learning analytics, you're hearing a lot more now about the way in which we can use data to support us in helping young people to make progress. So this is not something where we just hope and a prayer. We know it's an activity and an endeavour that can really help young people to move from where they are to a, a deeper level of learning. And a lot of people are talking about new pedagogies for deep learning, and they're saying that you can't do this without enrolling the help of powerful technology. So enabling technology is going to help us. So just to think about the learning sciences, to think about the way in which analytics are going to help us, to think about the way in which technology is going to help us, that is a huge shift, I think, that then gives us half a chance of doing what I was saying before. That is meeting the needs of all learners.